good afternoon sir good yeah. afternoon good afternoon how are you yeah i am also fine thank you for asking how are you i am also fine basically i was waiting like uh, when you will text me to have a session so yeah when and, and the last time like when you texted i was having the session with another ma'am like uh, i'm not able to recall the name of the mamta yadav yeah all i am sir i you are meeting first time uh, first of all please introduce yourself okay so uh, yeah thank you so much so my name is jashpal singh and i'm from jammu and kashmir and if i talk, uh, talk about my qualification i have done masters in political science and uh, my hobbies are reading books uh, along with other things like uh, philosophical things and currently i'm pursuing my studies but uh, working on a english and running a youtube channel like english with yashpal because there i want to uh, share my journey with the people and basically i'm providing the basic content for the people who are learning in this language and i love teaching because uh, i think this is a great way to teach to the people and as well as learn so of course uh, i while running a youtube channel i'm studying and you can say that i'm a motivational speaker as well because i do provide this kind of talks to the people so yeah that's all about me so it's up to you right now go ahead yes yeah, it is nice and interesting for you and first of all thank you for giving this opportunity to introduce myself in in front of you i am santanu das uh, i am from west bengal and by profession i am working person and uh, if i talk about my education qualification i have completed my graduation in mathematics subject and uh, if i talk about my hobby i always like playing cricket and football and uh, apart from also i am running my one youtube channel whose name is english with sd yeah the, that's all about me okay so you are you know playing many roles like uh, uh, i think uh, you are a husband uh, i think an employee a learner i think of course you have the hobby like playing the cricket and running a youtube channel so tell me like how you are managing all these things yes yes i always like also playing cricket and football and uh, whenever i get free time i always uh, go to the playground yeah and right now also i don't get free time right now also i am running my youtube channel and i have to do uh, the duty in the hospital uh, and that's all the shifting duty i have to do shifting duty and i have a married i have a lot of work in my family and and, uh, and and every single day also i talk to another people three or four people also yeah and that's why also right now also i don't get free time in the time also i don't play yeah whenever i get free time i always go to playground only for chatting with friends yeah yeah so tell me like what actually you want to do like uh, because you are an employee as well and you are doing your employment because uh, last time when i said that uh, you want to have a session you told me like uh, you are uh, in hospital so tell me like what actually you want to do in your life what are the priorities that you have set okay along with my job these are the priorities that i'm going to work upon yes yes definitely actually uh, uh, i am working person i work in a hospital as attendant but right now also my next goal is i want to be a good speaker yeah uh, and uh, because there is another reason also because when i was starting in my school life when i was starting in in class 8 standard and 9 standard that time my english was not good and that time also i always get of the english subject and that time also i could not write one sentence in english properly yeah and that's why in this time also and whenever i get free time i always try to learn english in this time also i can write properly i have completed the i have completed the grammatical rules and uh, there is no problem in my writing but i cannot speak properly that's why also i am practicing right now every single day yeah yeah so i think your journey <clears throat> your journey i think uh, correlates to my journey because uh, i studied in hindi medium and i born up born and brought up in the village still live in the village and i basically scored uh, 28 marks in 12th class and i failed in my graduation in i think ba why because i was from hindi idiom and suddenly jumped into english because subjects were available in english in the college so i failed in the i think second year i could not because it was very tough for me to cram and it was not easy to understand the english so that's where i started this journey right now i'm confident enough and for that reason i started a youtube channel like english with yashpal there i'm sharing journey my journey with the people because and not only sharing the journey but i'm providing the content as well and why i'm sharing because i know that what kind of and i wanted to crack many things in my life like 
but it was yes. a kind of barrier for me because i was uh, hindi medium so the english was a kind of barrier but once i started the journey right now i'm confident enough to have the talk to i think yeah to understand the thing so i think right now it's a kind of responsibility with me to share with the people around so right now like i'm working on this language i'm not perfect i still have things to learn but i'm learning every day and whenever i get a free time like this and i talk to the people like you because it provides a kind of practice for my journey and i think it gives me a kind of motivation to keep working and keep helping to the people around so yeah i think it's very interesting like you have the same journey like i have yeah. and sir uh, first of all i am asking one question i have heard that i know uh, about also uh, you are belong to jammu kashmir and uh, uh, there, there are two capitals in your country in your state yeah and uh, in winter season is one and, and the rest of the other season is one please tell me about the uh, details So yes, when we were a state, uh, Jammu and Kashmir. So um, we were two regions. Like uh, earlier, it was twenty-two districts, Leh, Ladakh, and ten districts in Jammu provision, ten districts in uh, Kashmir provision. So twenty-two districts. After the uh, removal of Article Three Seventy, and when we became a union territory, and Ladakh is separated from Jammu and Kashmir. So we were remaining twenty-two. Uh, 20 districts but two districts mujaffarpur and another one like mujaffarabad they join to this one but they are under i think pakistan control right now and uh, we are still having a kind of india the uh, 20 districts under indian control that is the jammu and kashmir jammu provision having 10 districts kashmir provision having 10 districts so <coughs> that uh, we were having two i think uh, two capitals why because Jammu is a little bit hot, and Kashmir is a little bit, I think, uh, not little bit, basically cold region. So because of that, we were having two capitals. One is Jammu. In winter, we were having capital in Jammu, and in summer, we are having capital in Kashmir. And uh, yes. people were thinking, like before the removal of this Article Three Seventy, people were thinking, like the political class, the people who are ruling, I think, in the executive. Actually, uh, legislature. They were thinking like it's a kind of waste to the money because it takes huge cost for the I think treasury of the state to shift the uh, I think arrangements from Jammu, Jammu to Kashmir, Kashmir, Srinagar, Srinagar to Jammu. So, but after that, uh, are not fun like the shifting the things uh, uh, that were around like we were doing earlier. So yeah, this is all about the capitals that we are having. Yes, yes. And sir, uh, right now also you are teach, uh, you are teacher. You also teach in English, English language, yeah? Yeah, you can say that. I'm not a private teacher. I'm not a kind of a government teacher, but I love teaching. So because I'm learning every day, and I know like the way the journey, the problems that I face in my uh, school days. Like I was from uh, village. My father is a laborer. So because of all the things, still my father is a laborer. My mother is a housewife. and i am the only person from my village who just graduate first graduate first person from my whole family generation to reach the i think complete and 10th class 12th class then graduation then masters so and another thing like far people here are lang- native languages dogri so people don't speak hindi and some other languages as well so english is a kind of luxury for the people to know about so basically i started because it was a kind of need of the hour for me to learn this language because i failed in the exam because of this language so i was determined to learn this language otherwise i could not pass examinations so i somehow managed to learn this language and once i learned i started working on speaking part as well and right now i'm confident to enough to have the talk to anybody on any issue on any topic in english So right now I think uh, I, the things that I have managed with English that's fine for me. But once I learned, once I managed talking, having the talks with the people, my friends, classmates basically suggested me that what if I start helping them out? So I started a journey like English with Yash Pal, a YouTube channel, so that I can teach them. Otherwise, it was tough for me to teach to go each and everybody's home and teach English. So I started a YouTube channel. Right now I'm sitting in my room, my home. so just uploading videos content and they can watch out no matter whether they are li- living in jammu i think punjab haryana delhi west bengal it doesn't matter so that the reason i started this journey so i think yeah i'm sharing the things every day but i'm learning every day because 
but I believe that this is how I can grow. Because if I will share uh, the things that I have learned with the people, I will be, I think, learning more things as compared to earlier. Because earlier I was learning for myself only. But now I have to learn for the audience, for the people, for the students who join to me. So I think it's a, I think 10x pace of learning that is helping me right now to improve every day. So I think it's a way for me as well as for the people around to, I think, work, work on this English language. And by doing this, I get some partners to talk to. Otherwise, earlier I was not getting the partners. I was learning. I knew grammar. I knew vocabulary. But I could not speak. But right now, by doing this one, once I started this process, I'm getting the people like every now and then to talk, to have the talk. So I think it's a win-win for me as well as the audience. So, yeah. And Sarah, what do you think? English grammar is important for speaking English? Uh, yes, the answer is yes and no. Because no in the sense that if you uh, uh, want to speak English only, then you don't need too much grammar. Uh, you need only two things to work upon. First is vocabulary and the other one is that uh, uh, tenses. And that two things are sufficient for you to speak English confidently, to read English confidently, to understand English confidently. But if you want to crack some kind of exam, say SECCGL, Wanking, Railway, UPSC, NDA, IMA, then definitely you have to, uh, I think, have some knowledge of other grammars like articles, models, nine parts of speech, and other things like passive and active narration part. So all the things that uh, you need to know because you are going to crack an exam. But if you are not going to crack any exam, you just want English to uh, be able to understand the things, what the other person is say, saying, just to be able to understand what the things has written in the books, and just you, to be able to speak out and understand. And for that purpose, you don't need too much grammar. Just two things are sufficient. Vocabulary tenses but for this part like speaking and learning english but if you are going for some kind of exams then compete like competitive exams then definitely you have to have the knowledge of the grammar so it's yes, yes. you know i think up to you but kind of uh, things that you are doing in your personal life so it's up to you what kind of things you are doing and according to your own comfort according to your own need you have to approach these things like uh, go to with all the grammar or not to go with all the grammar so yes up to you Yes, yes, you are right. Also, you are right. Also, to speak English clearly, always you should have uh, you should have knowledge of basic grammar. Yeah, and sir, uh, I, I, you know, also to speak English clearly, always you have to follow four rules: L, S, R, W, listening, speaking, reading, and writing. Four things are very important for speaking English. But uh, sir, what do you think? What is the most important part for speaking English? Uh, there are way like uh, uh, let me tell the few subjects that are very important for learning English. The first one I will go with the first one vocabulary because believe me, unless until you know the vocabulary, you will not be able to understand, you will not be able to speak, you will not be able to read, you will not be able to listen because you don't know the uh, meaning of the words. The first thing you have to go with vocabulary. Then second, I think learn every day something, some vocabulary, and of course include grammar part along with this one. The another part read something every day, like learn vocabulary, read yeah, something yeah. in English because that will. I think enhance your uh, comprehension power. The other thing is listen every day. The other thing like, I think speak every day, speak every day. And these are the things like uh, you can do in your life to improve the English language. But when you ask me the, what is the most important? Then 60% goes, 40% goes to vocabulary and 60% goes to speaking. Because unless until you don't have the vocabulary, you will not be able to speak. 60% you have to, 60% time you have to invest with the vocabulary and 40% time with the vocabulary and 60% with the speaking part. Because if you will keep speaking every day, every day for at least five minutes, 10 minutes, you are basically polishing your skill every day. And that's how you can learn English speaking very fast. Because otherwise, it is the case with 95% people of India, they know grammar, they know vocabulary, they know English, they can read, they can understand, but they can't speak. And uh, last time, I think five or six days ago, I was having a conversation with one man. And, uh, she, she told me like she was a, uh, she was a lecturer but, and teaches English. She could, I think, read, she could write, she could understand, 
but she could not speak English. So he asked me that what are the things that I should apply in my life that I will be able to, I think, speak English. So I said, ma'am, you know each and everything. You can read, you can write, you can understand. You know the vocabulary, you know the grammar. So the only thing you need to do is that uh, what see many people say that uh, speaking is the most important part and you can speak English. But see, if you know grammar, little bit grammar, if you know vocabulary, if you can read, if you can, I think, understand for speaking part, for speaking to be able, I think, to, to speak fluently, you need to speak every day. But if you are lacking from other parts, like you don't know vocabulary, you don't know speaking, you don't know how to read. And you uh, even not able to understand the things, then you have to, I think, work on, the, on all the steps. But if you know, like you are knowing good English, and if you want to be, I think, more confident, more fluent, so the only way, like the most important, you can say that go with that speaking part. Every day, speak something. I can speak on different contexts according to situations to be able to speak on each and everything. That's how you can, I think, be the master. Yes, yes, you are also right. Also, speaking is the most important part uh, for uh, speaking English. Always you have to open your mouth. Yeah, and I observe that also in our locality, in our society, many, uh, many students, uh, they are brilliant, brilliant students. They have a different person. They are brilliant students. They have got, uh, they have got the number uh, 100 marks uh, out of hundreds in English subject. But uh, they can write properly, they can uh, read properly, but they cannot speak properly. What is the reason behind it? Because they don't, they, they do not practice. They do, not, they uh, do not open your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. And Sarah. So, uh, yeah. Go ahead. Ask. And uh, you are from Jambu Kashmir, Sarah. What is the native language? Native language. <clears throat> we are having different native languages. Like in Jammu, mostly Dogri. In Kashmir, mostly Kashmiri. But Urdu is a language which is spoken in both regions, Jammu and Kashmir. You can say the common. There are other languages as well, like Gaddi, Pahadi, Hujri. So we are having many languages, but the prominent that we, many people spoke, I think, uh, earlier and speak right now, Dogri and uh, Kashmiri, Urdu. And of course, in city part, people do speak uh, Hindi. But most of the part in Jammu and Kashmir, people belong to village, I think, areas so they speak Dogri. Gujri, I think that this one Urdu and Kashmiri. Yeah, in Kashmir part Kashmiri, but I, I think apart from Kashmir, other parts Urdu, Dogri, Hindi, Pahadi. So like I speak, but I speak in my area is a mixture of Hindi, mixture of Dogri, mixture of Urdu. So it's a Pahadi language we call this. Yeah. But sir, how many languages do you know? Uh, you can say they like I you know in, uh, English, Sanskrit, Hindi, Urdu, Punjabi. So yeah, this and Bangla I can understand, but I can't speak Bangla. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, because they the they uh, Bangla is like I think related to Hindi, but they speak like why at the end of the word they close their mouth earlier, so that it sounds like rasgulla, rasogulla. They speak like that. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And sir, uh, do you have any friend who is willing to learn English in your locality? No, basically in village, what happens like uh, if someone is trying to learn something new, people try to drag him down. And same thing has happened to me. Uh, let me tell in Hindi. When I started learning, I didn't know. I was a teacher in college, I बहुत बार में मेरा झगड़ा हुआ स्कूल में जब मैं 12th में पढ़ता था तो एक सर थे मैं इंग्लिश में पूछता पूछता था इसलिए नहीं पूछता था उनको नीचे दिखाने के लिए पूछता था कि जस्ट बिकॉज़ आई वांटेड टू लर्न बट द टीचर हैज सेड लाइक यार तुम क्या ही कर लोगे सीख के इंग्लिश मतलब तुम्हें तो धड़ी लगानी है ना तो वन डे यू विल डूइंग दिस लेबरिंग वर्क सो व्हाट विल यू डू विद इंग्लिश पर एंड अदर थिंग पीपल अराउंड लाइक इंग्लिश सीख के क्या कर लोगे मतलब जे कोई सीख थोड़ी ना पाता है but today I'm in front of them and now hardly someone, you know, dare to come to me and say that, okay, oh, you. But because they know that this, I think, uh, did the things that he was uh, doing right now. So, of course, when you start something, uh, people try to put you down. But it's up to you only, like, whether you want to learn or not. So, I don't have anyone to, basically, I don't have the friends. I don't want. But uh, if I just say that if I have someone to talk to, no, I don't have. That's why I'm talking to different people from different states. Like you are from West Bengal, a few people from Haryana, 
हिमाचल प्रदेश आई थिंक दादर वन लाइक उत्तर प्रदेश बिहार हैदराबाद तमिलनाडु आई थिंक कर्नाटका केरला सो आपका झारखंड सो ऑल दिस पीपल वर हैविंग कन्वर्सेशन विद मी सो आई थिंक आई एम गेटिंग द पीपल अराउंड हु आर हैविंग प्रैक्टिस एवरी डे यस 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 एंड सर हाउ लॉन्ग हैव यू बीन लर्निंग इंग्लिश हाउ लॉन्ग हैव यू बीन स्पीकिंग इंग्लिश सो to far learning like i said like i failed in uh, exams in college so i have to work up and i have to learn at that point of time but to speaking i started i think uh, you can say that 50 45 or 46 days ago i started this journey so it's hardly i think one and a half month ago i started this speaking part like uh, i watched the video on youtube and someone was talking with another person so i texted I I in come I written something in the comment section and asked it to the that person like sir I want to have a talk with this. so tell me how can I and he suggested that upload download this one application and that's how we will have a discussion so that's where I started the discussion and I don't think like uh, you need someone to talk to every day but if you are working by yourself you can manage but I offer this opportunity to the people like. who wants to practice english with me every day they can join me that every day i will talk to them for 30 minutes so that me as well as they can practice english every day and sir did yeah, did you join any coaching center before for your learning english no i see when i said that i am from village i am born and brought up in the village so in village nothing is available like we don't have any facility so this part is first, the first one we were not having the facility other one my father is a laborer and we are a big family like seven brothers one sister and many other family members and one uh, father was earning hand so it was not tough for us to i think go to some coaching institutes the th- first one no facility second one father uh, condition economic situation and the third one like i uh, was not like join institution but i believe that uh, what they will teach me only whatever they will teach they will be learning from somewhere and uh, why to learn from them if i want to learn go to because after all they are learning from books and if i want to learn why some books why some other things and learn by yourself i never i think have had that kind of interest to go to some kind of institutions to learn because i knew that personally i knew i face things in my life like till the time they Uh, you sub- <coughs> submit the money in in their account they are texting you all the time but once you submit some amount of money they don't care about you whether you are learning or not so this is thing personally i felt and for that reason i started my own journey and right now i'm not only learning i'm just helping out to the people i'm providing content i give my time to yes, practice yes. english so i think this is the only way for me because this is the only way for the people who live in village because they don't have the much resources like even electricity is not there all the time so sometimes i have to manage with this solo touch yes, yes. like before you yeah. uh, texted me to have a session i was not having the electricity so this is the problem not one day this is the problem of all times all the day so we have to manage with these resources so i think this is the only thing that i yeah to did and i would suggest to the people how many members do you have in your family I think around twelve or thirteen members, like seven brothers, one sister, my mother, father, and my brother's wives. They are kids, so we are around fourteen, fifteen members. You can see that in the family. Yes, yes. And sir, maybe also, I mean, there is network problem. Actually, your feature is not moving. Yeah. Maybe sometimes it happens, like uh, internet problem happens. So yes, yes. yeah. All right, sir. All right. Yes. Nice to meet you. You are speaking very well. Uh, yeah, it is uh, nice conversation with you. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah, right. Sir, nice to meet you. Take care. Okay, Have sir. a good day. Thanks to you.